Samuel then? If you like, but he won't use it. Why? He can't sleep in regular beds anymore, or that's what he says. Says he was in the Navy too long. Can you believe it? Oh. That pile of wood out there? It's a hobble he built from an old rowboat. Where does Admiral Havelock find these people, I wonder? I had a sailor for a boyfriend once. He thought he'd strike gold digging in the Pandisian cliffs. They found his ship drifting empty. Good day, Master Corvo. Well, let's get down to it. First off, I know that assassination is dark business. But sometimes, good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose is clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide. Act in shadow. Take them apart, piece by piece. Tonight, High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal, because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Another thing. Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us. And if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's a master strategist, and he got caught working for our cause. It'd be good to oh, have Corvo? him back here. If you've a moment. Corvo. Hello. I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer. That wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me. But my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison. And I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Before you became an assassin. Somewhere in the basements below, Hound kills Hound. And money changes hands. Such laughter, and they're singing the old songs, linking arms. But that was from a happier time. Deals are made here. Sometimes at the beginning. Any casualties into the river, men or hound, they all go in. They top off the line with river water, but eventually someone swoons. Then the fresh bottles are fetched from the cellars. Their fate rests on your effort, on the strength of your hands and of your heart.
Ready to go? Just give the signal. straight up Clavering Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague. The other half's fighting over what's left. City Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. A man walks through one of those, and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. And there are the real odd birds living on the fringes like that Granny Rags. They say she's nuts. I don't know which is worse. Just take your pick. Let's go. It's nearly midnight. But easy, damn it. Keep them in the boat. The canal's got enough shit in it as it is. <laughs> One, two, three, heat! Hey! What is it? I think that last one was moving. What? Yeah, the little one. Not possible. I inspected them myself. Keep working. <laughs> well, he ain't moving no more. <laughs> somewhere around here. I'll flush. Here you are. Just disappear. I'll flush you out. Oh, all fine.
attention. Dunwall citizens, please clear the area. When a motorized carriage or stilt walker approaches on state troop, be advised that such vehicles will not slow or stop to avoid citizens obstructing the way. I think the little birdies are sad today. Oh no, that's not a nice thing. Just garbage. Garbage. Granny, 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 come out with me instead. Granny, 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 you can't because you're dead. Be careful, Corvo. They call her Granny Rags. You wouldn't recognize her real name, or even the name of her family. But an emperor begged for her hand once, and rich young men fought each other for her favor. I watched her consider them all, measure their worth, and find them wanting. Then, she made a different choice. You're on your way to face the High Overseer, the leader of a great cult dedicated to loathing me. What will you do, I wonder? Dear, is that you, my dear husband? Oh, my eyes aren't what they used to be. Have you seen my little birdies? Oh, the dear things must be starving without their granny. Here, birdies. Here. Oh, my, my, my. I think I have gentlemen callers again, but not the way I used to, not the nice ones. I hear them, and they're not very polite ones, either. Granny Rags, Granny Rags, let us in. Ah, oh, well, they'll go away again if they know what's good for them, but what a bother. Here's the key to the front door, love. You'll see to those ruffians, won't you? I told you the knives go on the left. They've always... Let us in, Granny. I bet she can't even hear us. She's blind, not deaf. We're here to do your washing. She's not stupid either. Have it your way. We're here to take your money, Granny. We're wasting our time. How much could she have? She digs in trash for a living. Let's get a drink. I'm dry as an overseer's prick. She's been digging for 80 years. Must have found something. Hear that, Granny? Whatever you got, Slackjaw gets a cut. Nothing purple. Just Bottle Street rules. Open up! Open the damn door! Dunwall citizens, following direct contact with an infected or weeping individual, 
You are required to remain for two continuous days. If signs of infection occur, report for transport to the flooded district. Inspection fee. To the void with Bottle Street and to the void with you. Let get back. Cross Keep the line and you'll your have your record for you. <laughs> ah, hey! Somebody, get over here! I'm gonna feed you to the world! Let me out! <laughs> I'm trapped! I owe you, brother. I won't ask about the mask. I wouldn't want my face seen either, pulling a stunt like that. You know what? 
I'll return the favor. Come by Griff's shop. That's my business. Well, it was, at one time. But now I'm reduced to scavenging things from here and there as the city dies. If you need anything, I wouldn't mind trading for a little money. Maybe someday the plague will blow over and everything will go back to normal. But until then, it's scavenging for me. Want to look at some of the things I found? Good prices, I swear. I knew you'd help me with those ill-mannered boys. My brave man. Listen, Granny has a birthday present for you. I got it from the outsider, and now I'm giving it to you. Go on. It's upstairs. On the vanity. I think you'll cut a nice figure with it. Remember how we used to dance? Our parties were even grander than those at the Boyle Manor. Everyone wanted to come. I hope you like the little gift I got for you. It's the least I could do for turning those louts away. I can't bear these Bottle Street children. Ruffians, every last one of them. Rotten apples. And that slack jaw is the worst of the lot. You know what I just thought of? You could do something else for me. Another little favor. And I'd give you another present. Another lovely rune carved from the bones of a dead whale. Do you remember my doctor, dear? Dr. Galvani? Now there was a clever man. He's got all sorts of nasty rat guts and disease in his laboratory. Wouldn't it be a shame if some of that mess found its way into the Bottle Street Gang's elixir still? That'd teach him. See to it, dear. I'll find you another present just like the first. Galvani lives on Clavering Boulevard. Or at least he used to. Those were the days. Now run. Right. Off. My baby birdies are hungry. So precious. Hmm. Long ago, Granny Rags danced to court. You'll have to go, or they won't come to marry her. In her mind's eye, she is fancy trim in velvet. Oh no, that's not a fresh and thing. Young. Just garbage. Run away to garbage, 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 garbage. All of it. Careful. She, she treads with, with purpose. And is, is not as frail as she seems.
Attention Dunwall citizens, this is a special announcement from our Honorable Lord Regent. This is the Lord Regent speaking. It is with regret that I announce that my term as Lord Regent has been extended through the month of August and potentially beyond. In addition, in this continuing crisis, the overseers of the Abbey of the Everman remain in service with the state and our Door handle to Dr. Galvani's lab? Yeah. Vital essences? That means gut? I think so. So your hands need scrubbing. You're unclean. Unclean? That's nonsense. Can't we just. No, I told you. With rubbing alcohol or white vinegar. All right, all right. What is he doing there all day? Ambrose says he breeds rats that carry the plague. Your friends are ignorant. The doctor is a brilliant man. If anyone can save this city, it's him. The royal physician is going to save us. I hear his new elixir is twice as good against the plague. I don't understand how Galvani can admire Sokolov. The royal physician or not, I hear tell he's a beast. A superstitious philanderer who spends more time with prostitutes than he does in the laboratory. Is this what it's going to be like when we're married? It is, isn't it? I hope not. I'm telling you now, I don't have the endurance for it. I told her to keep the children inside. <coughs> I told her. Huh? They're shy. You'll have to go or they won't come. the door handle to Dr. Galvani's lab? Yeah, I think so. Then you have to scrub. The rats get their vital essences everywhere, the doctor said. Vital essences? Does that mean guts? I think so. So your hands need scrubbing. You're unclean. Unclean? That's nonsense. Can't we just... No, I told you. 
with rubbing alcohol or white vinegar. All right, all right. What is he doing there all day? Ambrose says he breeds rats that carry the play. Your friends are ignorant. The doctor is a brilliant man. If anyone can save this city, it's him. The royal physician is going to save us. Ayer's new elixir is twice as good against the play. I don't understand how Galvani can admire Sokol. Royal physician or not, I hear tell he's a beast. A superstitious philanderer who spends more time with prostitutes than he does in the laboratory. Is this what it's... like when we're married. It is, isn't it? I hope not. I'm telling you now, I don't have the endurance for it. is distinct from the ordinary rat. What what is its size and the coarseness of its fur, and I believe in intelligence, although the experiments there are not complete. Coriander Zoological Survey describes only the ordinary rat, which means plague rats have only been here for five or seven years at most. This was not a gradual migration. <laughs> 